Aries, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for June 2nd until 8th. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Mm. Oh. Looks like you will be, you know, for those Aries is trying to find a new job, looks like you will be finding a new family. And seems like you'll be working with another fire sign which is you will be getting along fine that is really good okay hmm Okay, looks like you will be finding a new place or a new workplace, okay, or a new offer, which is you will find very comfortable, you know, to be around with the new people, you know, the environment seems so professional and, you know, it's less um, stressful environment, everyone looks so supportive, you know, welcoming you with their smiles, and you will also be wor uh, working with someone who's an older fire sign, which is definitely, this will also be your mentor, okay? This person will be very different from the boss that you used to work with, and this person will also be more of, instead of standing your way, they will be supporting you all the way, because they will believe in your um, in your skills, in your experience, and to all the potential that you can give out and that you can contribute to the company, okay? So, you have to leave all those bad things, in, you know, that happened in the past, all those um, bad experiences from your work colleagues, the politics, you know, the ass-kissing and everything, because this time, you will definitely be growing, Okay, this, you know, this environment that you will be in or that you will be joining soon, this is far more different than what you, than where you used to work before or where you used to sit. Okay, and I feel like there's less competition because everyone will be so busy with their own works. And, you know, the boss is also very straightforward, perfectionist and very hardworking. And he doesn't like it when someone slacks off or when someone is being so irresponsible, especially in delivering deadlines. Okay, now, but I feel like you have to travel for, you know, for, um, let's say, for example, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, you know, away from your, from wherever you live right now. So it's a little bit further, all right? 20, 30, 45 minutes, something like that. Um, it's less than an hour. And I feel like you will be very happy with how the transition you know has brought you especially in terms of finances because it will be a very big offer okay it is something that you feel like this is the amount that i deserve this is the figure that i'm really targeting and finally it's already here now you will be very happy because this week you will be signing up a new new contract new agreement or something like that and it seems like you will be very happy with you know with everything that they have promised everything that they will also deliver but you also need you know to reciprocate or to at least give back whatever they will be expecting from you or whatever they um you know they want from you there is just one slight problem because in your former company or in the with your former colleague there's one air sign woman who will be lying to you and by the time that you need to let's say for example you need to hand over or you need to hand your res hand um uh you need to hand your resignation letter or you need to do something you know i feel like it has something to do either with your boss supervisor or hr okay this person will be um will be absent or will be taking some leave in order for her not to approve whatever it is that you need to get her approved okay so you have to wait for six more days or next week but still even though this person will intentionally piss you off and delay you okay um it will be done you don't really have to worry about it it will be done it will happen and i feel like it will be um 
you know, the timing will be okay. And even if they will try to insult you or mock you, whatever it is, leave it, okay? If they will say some, some, you know, some sharp stuff or some sharp um, offensive remarks, okay? Just ignore it. Because it's not really worth it, you know. They're not really worthy of your time. They're not really worthy of your energy. And what's important is that finally you're getting out of that hellhole. Okay? Now, there is a bit of a sacrifice that you have to make or that you have to, you know. Well, this is what's in, re in exchange for this. That I feel like because of the distance, you know. That you need to travel back and forth every day. I feel like you will just decide to either move or to, you know, talk about um, moving here and there. Okay? Which is, I feel like your partner or your spouse is um, won't agree with your decision or they're not going to be in favor of your plan. Now, here's another thing, because there will be a friend who will be coming to you and will also be reaching out to you, that they saw your partner or your spouse with another person, despite of them always reasoning out that they are, you know, they are, uh, they are busy and they're always preoccupied. They always come home late because they have to work longer hours and stuff like that. But then those alibis and everything that they have told you you know everything that your partner has been telling you and reasoning out to you you already have some inkling feeling in the past and you already have some you know some intuition that this person is not really telling you the truth and this week there will be some things that will also be solidifying all of your you know instincts and all of the red flags that you've been seeing in the past now there is a decision that you have to make because since that you need to move away or since that you need to move from one place to another, from one city to another, then most likely that your partner wants to be left behind. So there is a decision that you have to make and you need to balance things off. Okay. I feel like if the, um, you know, if the work, the career and everything else is much more worthy than going through some betrayals and pains you need to balance your choices okay and you will be traveling everything that everything that you need the furniture you know the furnishing allowance and the moving the house and everything else your company will be providing it but this is the only thing that you have to think about that yes you are slowly climbing up you are slowly going up and this is what you've been dreaming of aiming for and you've been targeting for even for last year but why is it that right now this are all happening so especially if you're with a pisces you really need to think long and hard about this okay now if, if for you it's uh, you know you've been like all the on the verge of um, separation and crumbling down or breaking up or just you know diminishing your foundation then you know it's it's fine for you and it's fine for some areas out there who doesn't want to really revive their relationship and i feel like this person is still communicating or contacting somebody from the past which is another air sign okay now i feel like your spouse is not yet over over with somebody from the past that they are still thinking about or that or that they cannot really you know get over with now you will be very sad okay with the things that you'll be discovering about your spouse and it seems like this is you know supposed to be a week of celebration for you okay because i feel like you will also get approved for either a home loan or car loan or something that you will be applying for in the bank but then right after all of this you know lucky stuff that will be happening to you and the abundance that will be coming to you you know imagine that the the figure that this company will be giving you it is definitely enough for you to get another house 
okay, or to offer a new house. But if this person is the one who's been blocking you, dragging you down, acting like your anchor, then I feel like it's not really worthy of it. Because if someone really loves you, if someone really values you, they're not going to drag you down to the bottom. They are going to pull you up. And they are going to support you even if they have to sacrifice and be under you just so they can pull you up. Because they believe in you. Okay? But if this is the case, it's time for you to make a decision. Alright? Well, this is going to be a very fortunate and very good week for you, Aries. So take, um, take advantage of the career and financial opportunities. Alright? Anyway, that's it for you for this week, Aries. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website, antsofyangel.net. Blessings to you.